Hello friends, I am Rohit and today we are going to learn all about accounting vouchers in Tally. I have already created a company and at gateway of Tally, I see accounting vouchers. Here it is. I enter accounting vouchers and I find number of options on the right side of my screen. It says contra, payment, receipt, journal, sales, credit note, purchase and debit notes. So I would now explain each of them. First, I select a contra voucher which the shortcut is F4. Contra voucher is used for fund transfer between cash and cash, cash and bank accounts and bank and bank accounts. It is like fund transfer one from one bank to a cash account or to another bank or a cash account. Let me show you how it can be done. First, let me take a scenario of we want to deposit some cash in the bank. So I select HDFC bank cash source is my cash I select about 1 lakh rupees here I can enter the denominations of the rupees which I have given so now I have deposited cash uh, another scenario can be I want to transfer some amount from HDFC bank to another bank so what I want to transfer to Punjab National Bank 5000 rupees so I select Punjab National Bank here, HDFC Bank here and the transfer is done, done interbank transfer. So after contra voucher, let me show you something about purchase vouchers, how they are entered. F9 is purchase. Here I enter the supply invoice number. I have already created a supplier an item is already there 100 rupees so I made a purchase of item 1 for 100 rupees now let me show you about sales vouchers for sales I select F8 sales vouchers in sales vouchers, we do all transactions related to sales, including cash and credit for sales. If we are maintaining inventory, then inventory is also affected here. So I want to make sale to my customer one item one. I want to sell him this one piece for say 110 rupees. I want to charge some VAT on this also. So it is done. Now after sales vouchers, uh, let me show you something about the payment voucher. Payment voucher is used to record all payments made by the company. It can be a cash payment or a bank payment. So I select F5 payment voucher. I want to make a, a check payment from HDFC bank to my supplier. He had supplied me goods worth 100 rupees. I am going to send that 100 rupees to him. It asks, How are you making payment? Maybe a check payment. Check number. And payment is done. Now, I want to show you something about receipt watchers. The purpose of receipt watcher is to record all receipts into bank or cash accounts. Such receipts can be from our debtors, a refund of loan or advances, or income account. So I have this receipt F6. I want to deposit. I get a check from my customer 1 for the good I sold earlier. From my customer 124 rupees and 85 pesa. He gives through the check, and the check number is the bank is State Bank branch is on main street so our receipt has already been done now journal watchers i see f7 journal watcher journal watcher is used for adjustment between any two ledgers they are basically a rectification watcher or an adjustment watcher it 
it is an amount which can be transferred from one ledger account to another ledger account. Let me show you one. So F7. I go to customer one. Transfer 10 rupees from customer one to say supplier one. So now trust amount of 10 rupees has been transferred from customer one to supplier one. It could have the reason could have been anything, but the amount has been transferred. Let me show you. Credit notes. Here it is. Credit note allows to give credit to a party. It could be that we have received goods back from our customer or we want to give him some rate difference or discount. I put the original sale bill here against which I am going to take some stocks back from him. He is going to give me the item 1 which I have sold to him. He want to reverse that item back to me. Even the output VAT I have touched. So now I have taken that item back and given a credit of 124 rupees and 85 pesa to this customer. That item was, uh, uh, there was some problem in the item. So I am sending that item back to the supplier also. And for that I will create a debit note, control F9. Supplier, item one, one piece, so today we talked about all these watchers and uh, I hope you understood how these watchers can be done in tally. Today we learnt all about watchers in tally. Please subscribe to Discover Tally, my YouTube channel, to know more about Tally and its features.